Yo, 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 what's good? Welcome to Canes and Hills. This is your boy, Jerus. We're about to get in today with Lance Guidry and Shannon Dawson. Are they the odd couple or are they the perfect marriage? Based off what we've seen with the past, dealing with Josh Gaddis, Kevin Steele, not so much. I feel like Kevin Steele was a real veteran and Josh Gaddis had just come off winning the Bros Award. And it was probably a lot of egos involved. But off the rip, off the first three games, you can pretty much tell they wasn't playing for one another. Because that's very important in football. The defense has to play for the offense, and the offense has to play with play for the defense. You know, once you get on that on that path right there, pretty much out of here. So let's go ahead and get into it. I got a couple questions, all right? First thing is how will Coach Shannon Dawson and Coach Lance Guidry mesh together? How will they work well together? Will they have a, a healthy working relationship with you all right so what i'm thinking basically they're both from louisiana check all right i don't want to say one is more accomplished than the, than the other it's another check so what can they do they can all both elevate together all right because if i know my partner is not more accomplished than me and we you know we set off on a journey we can rise together we both can have head coaching jobs in three or four years all right, or four or five years. It's no, man, I, I'm not even worried about what the offense doing because, you know, I feel like I'm more accomplished or I'm a hot shot that just won all these awards. When both units are on a, on a level playing field, everybody can rise together, all right? I don't feel like I'm more accomplished than him. He don't feel like he's more accomplished than me. It's really no egos. Of course, we want to showcase our offense or defense, but at the same time, I want to work well with the other coordinator so we can, as a team, we could be moving as one single unit, okay? And we're going to get into how they're going to do that, all right? So first thing, how will Shannon Dawson and the offense help out Coach Lance Guidry in the defense? This is how they're going to do it. Shannon Dawson last year for Houston was 24th in the country on third down conversion at about a 42% clip. All right. What that tells me is on third downs, he's an exceptional third down caller. It's pretty good. 24th in the country. He's going to extend plays, which what? Keeps the defense fresh. He's going to take shots when he needs to. He's not going to take a shot on third down right after the defense just got the ball back to us. He's not going to do that. He's going to be thinking, okay, I'm either going to run, extend the drive, get the first down, and I'm going to take shots maybe in the first drive of the first quarter, maybe in the first drive after a turnover, maybe in the first drive as soon as we get back from halftime. We basically want to just extend drives, keep the defense fresh, all right? That's what Shannon Dawson's probably going to do. Houston was great on third down last season. Here we go. How will Coach Gidry help out Shannon Dawson in the offense. It's crazy how this third down parallel stuff works. On third down, Gidry and Marshall was number one in the country. Number one in the country on third down percentage. All right? For the other team converting on third downs. That's over Georgia, over Alabama, over Illinois, Penn State. Any good defense that you've seen last year, that was number one in third down conversions. That is one of the key stats that our team needs so bad is to be able to get them boys off the field. All right? Get them boys off the field. Let's get the ball back to TVD so we can go back and score points. And once we get up 14, all those explosive plays that we've been talking about that we've been wanting for so long, vertical passing game, after we've been pounding the rock on them, keeping everybody fresh, that's when it's going to come. You know how we get up 14? Because the defense is going to get a ball right back to the offense. And I feel like that's how Gidry and the defense will be helping out the offense, okay? The only challenges I see for the defense is being able to stop the run, okay? We're not that heavy up front, and we don't have a lot of depth. Maybe we'll address that in the transfer portal coming up soon, um, but that's the only thing I really feel like we need to address is the running game. Because once we get up, man, he's going to unleash the edges, man. Unleash the edges. Bane, Jaden Wayne, hopefully Cyrus Moss, you know, Nigel Lee Kelly, all these guys should be able to feast. Mesador, we should have, we should definitely improve off the sack total that we had last last season, which wasn't too bad, but we're going, we should extend that number, okay? Going in a positive way. Who has the most pressure out of both coordinators? You let me know in the comments who you think has the most pressure between both coordinators. I honestly think it's Shannon Dawson, all right? The reason why I say that is, the defense wasn't too bad last year. We gave up some big plays. 
All right, because I feel like some of the coordinators didn't know how to change or make adjustments at halftime. So I feel like the defense is almost is they 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 bought right there. All right, as far as the offense, complete disaster last year. Complete disaster. TVD was subpar. The running game was more to be desired. Offensive line was in shambles. We hired Shannon Dawson to clean that up. He got a. Fix TVD. Get them back on a straight and narrow, okay? TVD needs to be fixed. Offensive line needs to be fixed, which is Coach Mirabal. All right, Coach Mirabal. Arms and legs. You know what I'm saying? He got to get that fixed. We have to showcase the offense for the future. All right? So when we get up in these games, if we have any shot to put Ja'Curry Brown in the game, Ja'Curry Brown needs to be showcased just so we can grab those wide receiver recruits for next year. Because the plan should be for TVD to ball out and move on to the NFL. But somewhere in this season, we need to be able to show that Ja'Curry Brown has worked in the offseason and worked on his accuracy. You know what I'm saying? He just needs to get that accuracy and that passing percentage up a little bit. But we want to see that so we can know what we're looking at moving forward in the future. All right? But again, Shannon Dawson has the most pressure to perform. Because the, I feel like the offense is a little bit behind the defense, but he does have the weapons. It's no excuses for Shannon Dawson. It's no excuses for nobody, actually. It's no excuses for Shannon Dawson. Offensive line, got two five stars, got running backs and wide receivers. Yo, just get them boys out there, scheme it up, let's make plays. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments on would this be an odd couple or would this be the perfect marriage? Will it be a mess? I don't think it's going to be a mess like last season, but you let me know your thoughts. On how the coaches can help bounce off each other Because that's very important for our team to move as a whole unit And this is Jerus with Canes and Hills And I'm out Peace